Hello YouTube! So today I am going to be doing uh, the first part of the Kirby Dream Collection uh, series of games, which is actually just a bunch of re-releases of a bunch of old Kirby games. And uh, I'm going to be covering a couple of them. I'm not going to plan on finishing them because there's only like really one that I could probably beat within the... Uh, time that I want it to beat it in, which is like 30 minutes or so that these videos are going to be. And, um, yeah, so the only one I can actually do probably in like 30 minutes is Kirby Streamland, because this game is like 20 minutes long probably, if not like 30. Uh, so I'm going to be covering all these games, and uh, maybe I'll throw in a, in a bonus one, since I do have other Kirby games, but uh, I'm going to start with this one. So this is the very first Kirby game, and uh, oh, <laughs> I actually already played this, so this is why that's there. Um, uh, technical difficulties, yay! I think I actually just reset the entire freaking game. Mm, yes, I want to say, yeah, I did. Crap. Okay, so here's the problem with this game. Um, even when I was a kid and I played um, Kirby's Dreamland. Which is the very first Kirby game on the uh, on the uh, Game Boy? I couldn't figure out how to leave this screen. I okay, I guess I just hit every button and I just did it somehow. So as a kid, I never tried hitting all the buttons. It's cool. All right, so first stage, green greens. Um, this is where it all began with the amazing thing that is this theme. So, Kirby's Dreamland uh, is literally like six levels, I think. Five or six levels, and uh, every level has a boss at the end. Um, which is why it's so short. Um, there's no other reason why this game is short other than really that. And the final boss is actually just one of those things where they're like, Hey, uh, fight all the bosses that you fought already and do it again. So, yeah. Uh, it's like, it's a really short game. Um... That doesn't mean that it's bad. Uh, people have gotten this idea that short games are bad. Um, because, like, games like Ground Zeroes, people are like, oh, it's, uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. People are like, oh, it's only, like, three hours long, it's not worth $30. Kinda agree on that one, though. Because, you know, it's $30 and maybe you don't want to replay it. And the entire, uh, what, what I want to say, it's like, the entire, uh, purpose of that game is, uh, not purpose, but, uh, it's, uh, uh, value comes from the replayability, but maybe not everybody wants to replay it. This game, though, you know, it's an old game, so maybe they were li very limited on hardware. Plus, this is the first Kirby game, so I'm gonna assume they didn't have a lot of funding either, so they probably, like, had to scrap together something really fast, and, uh, that doesn't mean it's a bad game, though. It's still a really good game, and you could say it hasn't aged very well, but, you know, it's a Game Boy game. What do you expect? The only game on the Game Boy that it the original game with that age really well was like Tetris. And maybe like Pokemon. And even then, you know, they remade it, so. And Tetris got remade like 20 million times, but you know, you get what I mean. Okay, okay. alright, so somehow that guy hit me. So this is hands down the easiest boss in any video game I've ever played. Like, like, um,. Anyone who can find a boss that's easier than this dude, like, please, like, list him in the in the comments below or something, because I I really don't know any boss in any video game that's easier than this guy. Like, like you literally cannot be hit by him other than when I just fell and I think I dove into his nose and maybe that's why it hurt me. But um, yeah, so I'm already on stage two and there's six stages I believe, so or five, yeah five, so. As you can see, this is going to go really, really fast. Also, I recently played this just because, so I pretty much know what to do and what to not grab. Because there's some stuff in the game, you know, you don't need to grab it. Those guys freaked me the heck out. Kind of remind me of those dudes from, uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, I want to say? It was like... Uh, the, they're like the masks, and you go into the other world and they're like in there. You go through like a door, not the other world. But, uh, 
Also, this Wii, this is the Dream Collection for the Wii, and it like, f it's like frame rate drops sometime. Um, probably emulation errors. Uh, but I am playing this off of Wii U, and it still does that, so I think it's just, in general, just, uh, bad optimization, maybe? I don't, I don't really know. Because, obviously, the Wii version of the, um, Wii U doesn't, uh, take full potential of the Wii U's extra processing powers. But, uh, come on. Let's go. I don't want this to be a speedrun, but... Really, this game is really, really, really short, so there's really no <laughs> way that I, I can't go fast with this. But yeah, you can see it's slowing down when I uh, suck in some boots, so it's... Well, that sounded really messed up, but yeah. Um, yeah. Y well, you guys know what I mean. It's Kirby. He sucks. Things. Not not in general. Kirby's freaking cool, and anyone who says he's not, you know, can't be friends. And I, I keep going into that door. This door that I have to go through. Yeah, there it is. I hate those games. It has a thing where you go through one door and then you come out the other. I call it the Scooby Doo effect, but I hate those games. Look at you, JRPGs. Crap. <laughs> hit by that guy. Up, up. That's how I take that. And, um, just suck that. He can't run in this game either, he has one default run speed. In every other Kirby game that releases in, uh, in the future, he can run. So it's like, I keep double tapping to try to make him run. And all it does is make him walk. But, yeah, so, second stage already cleared. Seven minutes in, alright, so... Uh, it's not gonna be 20 minutes long, but definitely will be like 30 minute long game. A assuming I don't die. If I die, then, uh, uh oh well. <laughs> Also, can't skip these title cards either, but yeah. Hopefully I don't die. That'd be pretty freaking cool if I could actually beat this game without dying, because... I think I always screw up in, like, one boss fight. There's, um... It's like a giant eyeball dude who shoots lightning at you. He's in, like, every Kirby game. And he's always the one that kills me. I screw up sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Oh, man, like... Like... <laughs> I remember playing this game on the Game Boy, uh, I didn't have a Game Boy, like the original, but I did have a color. I remember playing this game, like, for the first time ever, like, really long time ago when I was a kid. And playing it, and I was like, like, this game is so short, and it's like, there's nothing to do, but I would, I would go back and always play it. Like, every now and then. It was a really good game. Don't know where I put it. Kinda wish I still had that. Keep your games safe, kids, you know? Like, don't lose your games, you will I, I've learned that, I learned my lesson from losing games. Also, I'm really gonna die, actually. <laughs> I'm not doing so hot. I think it was a maximum to pick. God, like, ugh. It's happening. I said, I said it in the, the Rainbow Curse video, and I'm doing it again in this one. It's tomato, not, not potato, or whatever the heck I keep saying. I might actually die, because I don't know if there's any health here. I, I, I was thinking of the, uh, the maximum tomato that's down in an area that looks very similar to this in uh, Kirby's Adventure. Which is also Nightmare Greenwind. Which is the best Kirby game ever made. Because they just took something that was better, and made it even better. Also, I'm pretty sure that was actually- Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh, please let this heal me. No, of course it doesn't. In fact, I think I'm heading right into a boss fight. So, there's that item in Brawl. It's like the curry, and it makes you spit hot fire. Uh, that, I think, actually came from this game. Now that I look at it, I think that was a curry that I just ate. And, thank you, there's health. So, it's only gonna heal two, but, you know, that's cool. I, I miss this too. Kirby games used to have exactly six health. Like, it would give you six health and nothing more, nothing, like, nothing less than six. And now they all have either a life bar or, like, like an actual health bar with, like, with, like, enemies that do, like, various amounts of damage. I kinda miss this. It made you really edgy when you're playing it because, it's like, if you, if you died because you only had, like, one health, you play really carefully. 
But, uh, I'm in the clouds now. I don't, I don't even know how that happened. Well, Whales will take you to the sky. Don't actually go ride a whale, though. That's, that's not good for you. Alright, this guy's totally gonna kill me. So, this thing just gives you, like, infinite amount of that air thingy. Spinning thing, but... I usually screw up every now and then. Maybe I... Oh, wait, I'm actually gonna win. Holy crap. Alright, so... No death run is actually working out. I totally pulled a clutch there, so... That, yeah, that that level took like four minutes, so I'm definitely gonna beat this within 30 minutes of what I wanted. Beat this game, and I guess I don't know, because I'm already on the second to the last level. Which is great. I'm gonna be really embarrassed if there's actually six levels I've been wrong this entire time. Which is funny because I literally played this game like a week ago. <laughs> Not to practice this. But, yeah. Uh, I forgot about you guys. Those guys used to creep me the fuck out. They used to be like, why you lie to me? Why are you so scary? So this game actually, now that I think about it, doesn't even have the copy ability. Uh, that got introduced in Dreamland. This one you can only suck people in, and then you can eat them, I guess, but that's about it. Huh. Cool. I just, I, like, I just realized that after many years of playing this game. That being said, that'd be really funny if there actually is a copy ability that I just haven't <laughs> realized. Like, does this guy give me the cutter ability? No, he does not. Alright, so there is no copy ability in this game. That would have, that would have been a mind blown moment. Because that would have been like, that would have been like several years of my life playing this game. That would have been a lie. Also, I thought this was a background thing, so I was floating. There was a reason. Also, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I keep going in too hard. Uh... Please let there be health here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeebus. Okay, well, immediately was like, nope. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, alright, see? See, they teased, they teased me. They're like, oh, okay, well. Alright, could have way more hits than I wanted. Up, oh, ups. Ugh, I hate the Wiimote's D pad. It's so poo poo. I like the 3DS's D pad. It's like perfection. Oh, now I. I just remembered why I always lose to this guy. You have to fight him twice, and the second time you fight him, he does like this bullcrab lightning thing. So there actually is a reason why I lose to this guy all the time. Also that pattern. Oh, okay, see, he doesn't die, he like flies away. Makes sense. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta like, uh, look carefully for stuff like that, I guess. Cause I never realized that. Oh uh, man, well. that's a lot of blocks. I know there was a secret in here. At least I want to say there was, because there's some. Every every game, Kirby game, I'm gonna compare it to Nightmare in Dreamland because Nightmare in Dreamland pretty much was like, was like, oh man, remember that Kirby game we released like three years ago? Oh man, it was really short. It's like let's let's extend it, and that's pretty much what Nightmare in Dreamland was. It's basically this game but longer. So like they have elements from this game in Nightmare in Dreamland, so like whenever I play Nightmare in Dreamland or this game, I'm like, oh, I, I, I compare it to Nightmare in Dreamland because I'm like, in Nightmare in Dreamland, they did this. Also, you can't walk over that hole. You can't do the Mario thing where you just run over one by one holes. Doesn't work. Also, the frames are just pooping the bed. Like... Oop. I like how the cutter blade went back to that guy even though he's dead. <laughs> Oh, oh, umbrellas. Oh, 
Alright. Man. Kids these days got it good. Can't even tell what's in the foreground or background. <laughs> Nowadays, everything's like, this is in the background, this is in the foreground. Some more. Oh, give me some f more food. Give me more food. Yes. Okay, so that boss fight thingy that I was talking about, where you fight all the bosses again. Uh, I think the reason I, I, I might lose that one, if I remember correctly, I might lose. And I'm only saying might, because I don't think they give you any breather to get more health or anything. I think you have to fight them all back to back. Like, I literally played this a week ago. Believe me. I just don't remember. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so last level already. And uh, 16 minutes in. So this actually might be like a 25 minute long game. In which case, that's pretty cool. Might actually look at what the world record is. Probably, it's probably gonna be like 5 minutes or something. Stupid, like ridiculous, like I'm so good I don't need to kill any enemies kind of bullcrap. Also, DDD's team. One of the best mu uh, one of the best musical pieces in video games. So good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fight these guys in order, and I'm gonna fight this loser again. Oh, I forgot they also make you go through like a little like mini version of that level that you're on. Totally forgot about that. See, like that totally looked like that was in the background. It was in the foreground though. It's like it's stuff like that. It's like ah man, kids these days got it good. I'm not gonna run to your nose this time. Uh, what the? Okay, so it was his mouth. Do not run to his mouth. Alright. Little dog. <laughs> Come on. Give me more apples to kill you with. Give me more food. Feed me, Seymour. Alright. I like how it's just closed. <laughs> And yeah, they do not give you more health after the boss fight, because I don't think there was any health. Ah, oh, okay. God, I hate the D-pad! So bad! Oh, look at that Kirby, like, breaking out into, like, a sweet dance over there. I was gonna say break dancing, and I was like, oh man, what am I saying? I don't know the difference between dance moves. So, I, you can actually tell that these two character sprites for these bosses are actually different. One has a ribbon on her head, and one doesn't. So, one's a dude and one's a boy. Which I just realized is later in the games, they're like the blue and pink thingy. Um, and they're also in that Kirby anime. They're like Kirby's friends, which is weird. I just think they're trying to kill them, but, you know, it's all cool. It's all cool in Dreamland. Wow, that was really cheap, actually. Th there, was like a, there was like a coconut there. Immediately. A loop trap. Yeah, I love this part because these spikes are so inconsistent sometimes, and it's like the top ones like never hurt you unless you fly directly into them with like your entire character box uh hitbox like overlapping it. It's weird. But you know, it's a Game Boy game, so it's cool. So, yeah, oh man, I only have half my health, and I have to still kill this guy in DVD, so I definitely am gonna die, probably. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah, god, I forgot he does that. Alright, two health. Alright, so I can get hit by DDD once, and I can get hit by this guy once. Literally. Man. This is great. Why won't they give me health? Masahiro Sakurai, why won't you love me? I think this was Masahiro Sakurai. <laughs> he did make Kirby, so... Oh, alright, well, right away I got hit, so... Um... This sucks. You wouldn't happen to drop health, would you? <laughs> no, here you go. Just gonna do this thing. Oh. Yay! <laughs> So, uh, one death, you know, whatever. It's not too bad, I guess. I mean, I'm no pro. I'm not a professional video game 
player person. So, whatever. It's all cool. It's all cool, because I'm still gonna make it within 30 minutes. And that's all that matters to me at this point. I- ah! I- he always- he always throws one out first in the first boss fight, so I keep thinking he's gonna do the same here. Oop. Oh, alright, well, sh so I would've died again if I only had two health. I hate this guy. I don't know what your name is, Cloud Thingy, but I hate you. And I hate that they keep bringing you back in every game. You're literally just a cloud with an eyeball. You've literally done half my health. Far worth of damage. You suck, I hate you. I hate you. I don't know what you are, but I hate you. You're obviously a cloud with an eye and some spikes and you shoot lasers that surround you, but you're still a poo poo face and I hate you. Alright, whatever. DD time, yay. Uh, pff, great start. So don't, don't, don't do what I'm doing. Also, I just realized he has way more health than me, so, um, it's gonna go great. Can't look at that move without thinking it's like that Smash Bros. one makes a stupid whoop sound. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, come on. come on. So he's doing the peace sign there, but it looks like the little rabbit thing that he has <laughs> in the background, the profile picture for him. We don't know what the little rabbit thing is. DD has like rabbit things all over him. It's weird. I think they actually remade this game on the DS, now I think about it. I think they might have? <laughs> oh, crap. I didn't know he was gonna do that. So I'm totally gonna beat him. This guy is literally- e the final boss of the game is literally easier than the, the friggin' second to the last boss in the game for me. Sucks. Hate that cloud. Come on. Come on. Time to die has come, DDD. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> I got cocky, and now this is happening. Uh. Mm. Alright. So I didn't know the, uh, I didn't know the star actually does damages. To you. It does damage. I, I don't know why. Alright, well, two deaths. You know, whatever. To be fair, maybe that last time I played where I didn't die was a total fluke. <laughs> maybe I'm not very good at this game. That being said, I'm still gonna beat in 30 minutes, so haha! I could suck too. <laughs> Come on. So, fun fact about this game, if you did not know, on the game's cover, Kirby is white because the Nintendo of America uh, team, uh, who was translating the game and whatnot, and, and uh, localizing it, didn't know what cur uh, uh, what, didn't know what color Kirby was, and they were like, "Hey, do you guys know what color this thing is?" And they're like, "I don't know." And he's like, "Well, he's white in the game, so I guess he's white," which is like the dumbest idea if you think about it, because then they could have been like, "Yo, like, uh, what's my bad." Because then they could have been like, hey, uh, any game character that, like, all the Pokemon are white. Like, they technically could have gone, not white, but either one shade of blue or one shade of red or whatever. So, awful, awful, uh, uh, judgment on their call, but, uh, they later found out that Kirby is in fact pink. So, you know, they found out. It only took them, like, like three years. <laughs> but, yeah. Pretty cool. Fun fact. And also, Kirby is always angry on most American box arts for games. And I also beat DDD. Yeah. So, the background story to this game, which only is shown if you sit on the main menu, uh, the, the, the menu screen for like 20 seconds, is DDD went and stole all the food in Dreamland. And Kirby was like, no, dude, because we need food, too. Which, if you really think about it, pretty fucked up. 
DDD was like, screw you guys, you guys are all gonna starve. But, uh, yeah, so Kirby basically went on this adventure to get the, uh, get it back. Also, Masahiro Sakurai, shortened to Masa Sakurai. Huh. <laughs> I think Masahiro Sakurai, uh, if, and if you don't know who Masahiro Sakurai is, he is the guy that made Smash Bros. He is the director of it, and he is the genius behind the whole Smash Bros. franchise, and Kirby. Uh, he, I believe, was 19 when he made this game, and, uh, uh, yeah, and no one knows who Bubby is, but, uh, yeah, and also Cypher, which sounds like, like an awful, awful, like, hacker name that you would use for, like, some crap, but, uh, yeah, but, um, yeah, so he was 19 when he made this game, and, uh, originally they were like, hey, you know, do you have a concept for a game, and he was like, this is what I got, and they're like, alright, good, good shit, go for it. And Kirby's Dreamland was born. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's literally the end of the game. Kir so Kirby is literally gonna fly off with DDD's castle, and... He's gonna, uh, drop food everywhere. And you can assume... Like, this is another pretty interesting thing right here. Judging by those black shadows, you can assume that everyone in Dreamland is also Kirby. When in fact Kirby is the only one of its kind, with maybe Meta Knight being the same, but no one really knows because Meta Knight is like Meta Knight and he's cool. So TDD is just gonna sit there. Gonna throw a tantrum. And he runs off. But uh yeah, so uh, that is Kirby's Dreamland. Really short game. Took me 26 minutes. 26, 27 minutes. I don't know, something like that. But uh, yeah, pretty pretty short game. Uh, let's see how many games actually come in this bundle. I think it's like six of them, and I th and one of them is actually like five games in one. So this bundle is technically like 11 games, I think. Um. So, yeah, six, but Superstar comes with eight games, so it's like, uh, that, that's, uh, that's a lot, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, as you can see, he's white on the cover, because they couldn't figure out what he was supposed to be, but they could assume that the tree guy was green and brown, because, you know, that's, hmm. I think about it, that doesn't even make any sense, but, uh, yeah, Kirby's Adventure is a really good one, and I'll probably be doing this one next, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then two extra ones that I gonna do just because. But uh, yeah, uh, the Dream Collection, uh, pretty hard to get game now, but uh, you could definitely find it if you ask around, and I would recommend you guys get it. So thanks for watching, you guys, and uh. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will more than likely be Kirby and or any videos that I have sitting on my hard drive that I really should upload, but I'm not doing it because, uh, like, uploading a video takes, like, five to six hours. I hate where I live.